Alright, so guys, this is what starts into some more of the Sun Moon Show episodes called Potential at Revival in VR Chat. Alright. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Moon, your glow feature's not that much different. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, not like you are. It, or... There's a mirror right there. Come here. Which one's the one? Is it what, like, like high? Oh, yeah, well, I am quite bright. Yeah, I, it, I'm like pitch black. You are iridescent white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take out context. That could sound the race. <laughs> but. I know it's not supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, Moon is pretty much, he's always white and, like, dark blue. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... <laughs> but yeah. Puppet is really, really white. <laughs> First, I'll catch you up because I know that you got mad at us the last time we went to Super Race Lab. I'm gonna warn you right now, bro. Uh, can I also give you an update about a thing that happened? Oh, uh, sure. So, I guess a thing from a dead dimension maybe is walking around. It wants ruin. What dimension is it from? Um, what is it? Like? Don't know. All, all I know is that it's a amalgamated wire version of Freddy's eyes. So, why do you care about it? Exactly. Just personal questions. Okay, so out of his new skull. You don't. You don't. You just want information. He should be dead right now. Number one, if, if it was up to me, he'd be dead right now. Just so you're aware. Yeah, I get that. You know why his voice box was unplugged down there? You know why I went down there and what's his wire? Wait, wait. Why is there a cat ad? I swear. I hate ads. Just now, getting over the effects of the Hunter Quest. Cool. The amount of information I had to process and, 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 and get through after that happened. Oh, yeah. right. Because of that, um, it was like the video or whatever that. Puppet misses Solar. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use make some reaction videos to the Monster Gear Boxy show. Well, I promise I will, okay? I promise I will at one point. Maybe I'll do it this weekend. <laughs> I couldn't even talk that much, which was weird because we went to a very, very important place recently. So, there was an amalgamation wire Freddy after Ruin. I'm not going to stop him. I don't care. It might potentially come after us as well. I don't what, know what it wants specifically. Us specifically. What have you I, done with that? That's the thing. Is it won't explain to me what it wants. I just know that to some extent it wants Ruin. Well, I, I, well that's I, understandable. Yes, sir. Destroy it. Considering that ruin just like wiped like five thousand dimensions. Yeah. So I would say that is reasonable. But then again, wouldn't that thing be destroyed? <laughs> this whole thing's not making sense. Like I don't know, like the whole dimension collapsing or being destroyed over is kind of confusing. Like explain in Minecraft terms. Thirty-two or twenty-three, one of the two dimensions, plus and minus some, I'm sure. It, it it might cause a few red flags by a few important figures. So whatever this thing is, I'm sure he deserves it. I'm not sure. sure it's just until I figure out what this thing wants, I don't want to just hand it ruin. Remember when I told you guys about how how dimension hopping and stuff is pretty bad and not great and not wanting to 
before the beginning and of Mesodyne and the whole Mesoland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get it? So, yeah. let me fill you in, I guess, on what happened last night. Well, lucky me, uh, the cliff broke my portal, so I have to get that oh. fixed. Fantastic, wonderful, that's good to know. You can maybe... Yeah, you know what, that is actually kind of good, actually. Because, um, that means nothing can come through it, I think. I don't even know. Like, does it mean, like, you can't go through it, or things can't come out, and you can't ever use it, or people won't be able to use it from the other side? Um, yeah. Stabilizing the current. So, we went to Stitch Rail Stab, which is because Blood Moon, as I'm sure you might realize, he's locked in the Parsons Wilders right now. Or do you not realize that yet? Michael put him in the area. He, he got knocked out. Did not Blood Moon. Blood Moon got absolutely pieced out by the cringe faction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you laugh now. I watched that man knock Marky through three walls single connection. I, I didn't think you were going to say it. The statement of. Blood Moon got knocked out by the cringe Foxy is a very funny sentence. You won't be allowed to make another sentence here. Okay. Because he did the same, he did the same thing with Stitch Race. He knocked it 300 feet underground. Oh. oh. So, as much as you want to laugh about that idea being a thing, he's a very serious... L listen, I wasn't doubting that it happened. The sentence it's funny. is funny. And it, it is funny. In context, Blood Moon came to get Moon because I think Stitch Ray let him about what happened. I don't know the exact ideas behind it, but I'm trying to piece things together here. Stitch Ray, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, pulls energy from negative side power. We've pretty much gotten to that point, right? So, recently, with the recent event of FC being taken, our goal is to get FC back. So, we were going to use Ruin as a possible thing. If Citrace was tied to other dimensions in some capacity with Creator, because he's after the Creator, right? He is. Yeah. If the other dimensions collapse and affect him in some way, he might send himself or someone to figure out who and what did that. So, okay. he sent Blood Moon to get him. Foxy stalled him just long enough for Mikey to get in there, and he's like, the advice you gave him to switch him and Cringe Foxy around. Foxy and Cringe Foxy. Cringe Foxy knocked out Blood Moon. Monty put him in the parts and service area. He's, he's coming for now. He, he is still pretty damaged, so that's fine. Okay. We then left the Stitch Race Lab, which, again, we didn't inform about this, but it, it had to be kind of down low so that no one else knew and we couldn't tell everybody about it. We went there, Cringe Foxy did what he could to the Stitch Race. He didn't kill him because he panicked. He's actually quite strong. Um, I bet. Stuff. That's why him and Foxy, or Sun and Foxy, are out right now talking about what to do with him. FC's in an undisclosed location with one of them at the moment, just for safekeeping. Right. Why? I'm trying to listen to the conversation. Okay. So, Century is very strong, it seems. Okay. But, like, how strong are we talking about? Like, what is the Stitch Wraith made out of? Because there could be something that could be stronger than a Stitch Wraith. We learned something pretty important. Actually help us get somebody back. I'm listening. I'm waiting for you here. This is where it gets a little bit weird. Okay. Stitch Wraith detected something in Monty's arm, the arm that he used to kill C7, a, di a, 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 a different Stitch Wraith. Okay. Oh. 13, I have been able to find. I can't find one yet. I don't know where. And now yeah, I can't and remember where Ruin said something about there only actually being 13 of them. And now I can't I find them. I thought that just meant this creator. It's different dimensions across maybe collaboration effort of some kind, but at the end of the day, we, I couldn't find more than 13, and I'm not sure anybody else can now anyway. They're all gone, except for one, which is ours. He literally took the energy from Monty's arm, pulled him closer, moved the energy around his body to paralyze him, and then crushed it. Monty is in parts and service right now getting fixed. He has no legs. Oh. Oh. Think about that. But he's collapsed. C7 energy was still on Monty. The energy still exists past collapse of dimensions. If you understand what I'm saying, everything has a center of energy. Everything. Right. If it has a soul of some capacity, it has energy. Right? Yeah. 
So that means information from a soul, possibly, or energy, just in general, is safe, even if it's not in Serenity anymore, it's there. I'm not in this dimension. My dimension is not collapsed. So, boom. I tell you. Wait, hold on. No. Oh, wait. So, okay, so Papa said that they're not from this dimension. Because their dimension is collapsed. Okay. So, but also from what Ruin said, um, back when, like, solar stuff happened, he said there wasn't a way to bring a person back from a complete dimensional collapse. Papa never specified that if it was a complete dimensional collapse, so... Okay, so if it's a complete dimensional collapse, then the person disappears. But if it's just a dimensional collapse, then I'm assuming the same the person stays. I don't know. The whole thing is just confusing. A different version of Sun that was from a dimension uh, that who cares? Uh, I call him Dark Sun because he's an evil version of Sun that kind of acts like evil Morty from Rick and Morty. Yeah. Anyway, um, the, that Sun told me essentially, basically finished giving me the information I needed on how Ruin was the one I was doing it protecting. But he had, in exchange for that information, I had to build him a dark matter generator. And ignoring the implications of that, using the dark matter generator, he could have, he could have altered his own energy signature, which is why he was deleted. Right. So, this is where it gets a little weird, though, is that despite all, all, all of that, energy might be separate from a dimension entirely. This has implications for many things, like using a different dimension for energy in a really messed up kind of way where you're using like a different place for energy of some kind. Yeah, I'm not too into that. But besides that, it gets into the idea that if Solar had anything, he was here for quite a long time, waiting for it. Yeah. Off chance that we can find something left we can do something with it. I'm not sure what. Mm. Um, you're the science guy. I'm just. I, I'm just I need a sample of some other like. Moo, <laughs> drop the science guy. <laughs> you guys remember watching Bill Nye the Science Guy in school? Because I have before. And I love watching Bill Nye the Science Guy. Who doesn't? So you didn't get dimensional energy. Oh, here. Just, uh, take, take mine. What? I'm not from here, Dad. I, I never was. I, I don't remember ever being told that, but okay. Uh, yeah, was, uh, yeah, it's not a well-known secret. Uh, I'm, I'm not from this place. My dimension's destroyed. I, it's not collapsing, I, so... I, I don't... I don't oh! So from a, din from a dimension being destroyed to... Dimensional collapse. Okay, so apparently those two are different. Okay. Yeah, because Ruin's dimension was destroyed, but he's not gone. But Solar's dimension collapsed, and he's gone. Your bike is okay. Get a sample of your energy. Get it. I need to build that now. Okay. You've gotten the cogs turning now. I now apply them for you. Uh, I'm focusing on your energy. Make a sample of it. Then I can use that to build a different machine. Solar's energy, and I can interchange that energy for dimensional energy. Sure. Potentially. There's lots of steps in that I'm sure you're leaving out because they require so much more effort, but it's a. I know yeah, that's true. I'm just getting the rough layout. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I Thank thought you'd want to know a bit about that because I mean, obviously, you might be mad about us going to the strip again, but kind of balances out with what just happened. I, I've said this forever ago Stitch Race is your guys' whole shebang. I understand that you guys are going to keep going after him. As long as it does not put my family at risk, I don't have a problem with it. Let's be honest. A guy like that, we're all at risk all the time. I know. That's... I know. Deal with them. And like, that's the same thing with, like, Eclipse and Ruin and Blood. <laughs> like... Okay, so out of these three, Eclipse, um, Blood Moon, and Ruin, who do you think is the most dangerous? Honestly, I think... Between Ruin and Blumen. Actually, I think Ruin's more dangerous because he can kill a lot more people. He's, I'm pretty sure he's killed a lot more people than Blumen has. By a lot. I can't feel like I, I'm going to add it all the same way that you put it. He's not. 
Like, Ruin has killed more people in a day than Blood Moon can do in one night or one day. Concerned about. I talked to Miss Boxy and FC because he's back now. Boxy okay. says that FC was, you mentioned Chrome, FC. Please step back. FC is powered by a star power in some capacity. Yes. He doesn't produce any negative, which is abnormal. Right. Post collapse, FC was put into some kind of machine by Stitch Riggs and he put a bunch of power through it. He's visibly bigger, he's grown in some capacity. That's first. Second, FC, he doesn't quite understand what he's doing. He's a little kid, after all. Said that Stitch Wraith called him like a battery to obey. And we're thinking that point. Oh, kind of like how Eclipse wanted to use Lunar as a battery. Hmm. Okay, well, things can be very parallel here. Stitch Wraith used his other. He, he forced whatever he could left of energy other dimensions because he couldn't get to the brother. I think it was his brothers. Something about how those two in his lab were his brothers. Other citrates. There's 13 of them. He had, he had eight tubes. One of them was with Monty. So there's nine. Th th there's four he lost. Now we're going to see them all probably. The negative energy that FC creates goes to citrate at all times. Okay. Yeah, things, this is just getting very, very complicated and like very uh I don't know. Very just complicated, you know, if you want to play At the same moment, Wallace hit me right now. He's getting stronger as FC makes more power. If I am wrong about that, that's Lunar. Why is that? The creator called Lunar a battery at one point. Okay. So maybe he's still. Oh, yeah, that too. Something based off of what Stitch Race isn't. Based off the concept of what Stitch Race is meant to be. He can't control Stitch Race. Was too far out of his grasp, and the stitch race would never go back to him. He would never do that. Correct. So, so it's like battery. Like this thing with the core. I'm kind of happy they didn't kill the core for what it's trying to do. All I know is that there's at least yeah. eight. Okay. There's at least eight stitch rates worth of energy within ours, plus FC creating more as other energy was poured into him forcefully post collapse. We are looking at a much more powerful threat. Did you just say there's eight stitch rates? In his tubes. As she said, the thing with his brothers. Is all people. the energy inside of Stitch Race, the one that's alive? I'm assuming if they shove energy into FC, the negative energy that FC would have produced or been given went to him via yeah. whatever they have going in there. Right, FC was so called a battery. You cannot destroy that core. Yeah. I kind of gathered that. We told, we, we told our posse, not our posse, we told the strong posse to avoid the core at all costs. To yeah, figure out what it might be. Because of what did the Monty imagine that on a much much larger scale. Well, regardless of that, the if if FC had been filtering the negative power into Stitch Rate and that core Stitch Rate power source in one way or another, that means that's nine entities worth of negative energy inside of Stitch Rate. And I think you would that's a lot of negative energy. If that core exploded, it could make our dimension collapse into the plane. He's doing it over time. Oh. So he was. Until the collapse happened, I think he was trying to just buy time until he got enough. He didn't have all of his brothers yet. One of them was with Monty. He absorbed that instantly. That's how it crushed Monty so, so, so fast. It was, it was, we, we couldn't do anything. Even with the speed and strength of that box that we had with us, we couldn't touch him because he said there was a sense of something that would have gone wrong if he even touched Monty or stopped like him. Oh, but again, the moment he let go of Monty and got the energy, that Foxy let loose, knocked him around, right. destroyed him. Not destroyed him, but you know what I mean. He, he right. showed him the hands. It's so while the Stitch Rate may not have FC in this exact moment, Stitch Rate's using FC like a battery, and 
and I'm assuming the creator knows about that, so, or whatever, not the same reason the creator knows everything, does feel the creator might try and go after FC. FC, also, keep in mind, he's actively helping the situation. Now, I am going to say it now, just to put it out there, I don't think he will. I don't want to. Foxy won't, Monty won't, Earth won't, Moon won't, nobody wants to. You can't let him get destroyed. Even though he's actively helping against his will at this point, he's the kid. And that's where I kind of draw the line. So, I mean, we're not letting him just go. And yeah. I mean, yeah, Epsi is so a kid. So. True story. Yes, but he is a kid. And also, I don't want to think about what could happen if Epsi died. Hey, I have a question. What's up? Who else do we know creates Proteus Slime? Yeah, this literally makes no sense. Like, they tell Sun Moon not to use his star power. And, like, Moon, they're like mad lunar or whatever for using his star power. Like, or, like, not controlling his emotions. But they can't go after Stitch Wraith and FC. Yeah, things aren't adding up. <laughs> I think from what something Lunar told me is like the negative stuff is like painful. It did, did seem like it made Monty hurt, but after a while, it kind of just went away. If it, 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 it creates black holes and wither storms, it's a hostile entity as an energy source. So we're looking at an entire person who's just a hostile entity at all times. Yes, not to mention that it's nine of those hostile entities. news to me, uh, but it's really yeah, just news I, to me. I, I need to study this energy thing. I will keep you updated. I'll be where I usually am, up in theater. But yeah, I'm, I'm up in theater where I'm in the middle of a job right now, so. Right. And I will let you know, uh, um, what time is it? Uh, it's three in the morning. I should probably sleep up. I think it's been almost 48 hours. But 48? You definitely sound like you haven't slept in a week. I haven't slept in a long time. Oh. Um, you can touch me. Well, this kind of makes sense. It's wearing like, is it like puppet, like some sort of like a god or goddess or whatever? Alright, well that's it for today's episode, so hit so subscribe and hit button button down and comment below to see some more of the similar tricks and this is the guys like you. Adios amigos!